episode of the Sassandra Show. I am absolutely thrilled to have y'all with us today because we've got a fantastic show lined up. And I can't wait to dive into dive the conversation. In a hole. Yes, y'all know how we do it. Listen, y'all make some noise for the men keeping the vibe right around here. Hey, suck by saying, look everybody on guitar. Mr. Jonathan Park on drums. Mr. Christopher Matti. weekend for me as well. Good, good. I hope you all had a great weekend too. Today we're going to discuss a topic that's close to all of our hearts. The importance of setting our children up for success. It's not just about giving them the tools they need to thrive today. It's about preparing them for the challenges and opportunities of the future. In a rapidly changing world, we need to equip our kids with the skills knowledge and values that will empower them to navigate the complexities of tomorrow. So get all comfy, bring the kiddos out, and let's get this, y'all! Start on! Let's get it started! Oh yeah, that's how you do it on a Monday. Come yes. on now. Oh, yeah. Listen, we are honored to have a truly inspiring guest in our midst. Our, our guest is not only a highly successful entrepreneur, but also a dedicated parent who understands the profound importance of setting our children up for the future. Y'all welcome to the Lavender Couch. Bring on the Miss Brianna. <laughs> yes, it's about the kids. I love it. How are you today? I'm blessed. How are you? Oh, I love that answer. I am blessed, blessed and highly favored. Come on, okay. amen. <laughs> Listen, so to start, could you share with our audience why you believe it's important to set your child up for the future? Oh, wow. There's so many answers to that. Mm. Um, my daughter's three. Oh. Three, so have a long way to go, and I don't. And want a short her time to get there. Very, very they short so time. So, I feel like with me being in the field that I'm at right now, mm -hmm. she looks at me. She's paying attention yes. to everything, and yes. you know, I had great parents, but oh. I want to do better with my daughter. Yes. Growing up because it's a lot we didn't know. My parents it's so had true. me at a young age, so I just want her. I don't want her to have to. Oh, mom, can you co-sign on this for me? Or mm. can I use your social security for this? I want her to be able to, uh, mom, I got it. Be you independent, stand on her own. That's my baby. So yep. what would you do different from your parents? Um, one thing I would do different. What do you feel like you didn't get? Not because they just lacked it, just they didn't know. Like my parents didn't know mm. a lot of stuff. What do you feel like is crucial? Like, oh my God, I wish I had learned this. Um, Maybe financial literacy? My dad was great at that. that really? Was the thing. My dad, I just didn't listen. <laughs> um, I didn't listen. So woe unto you. Yeah, I didn't listen. I didn't listen. I feel so, you. Yeah. So I'm. What would you do better? Um, what I would do better? That's hard because, ew, ew, everything was pretty good. It's just the, the where I grew up at. It mm -hmm. was just a little. Okay, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. The area, the environment. The area. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So you are taking them up to the next level of living standard. I love that. Yeah. So can you highlight a specific experience or strategy you've used in your own life that you believe has been particularly effective in setting your child up for success down the road? Hmm. Experience. As in my childhood? Yes. I would really just say school. Really? Where I went to school, it's just... It was okay, but I just feel like 
like I went to a Clayton County Public mm -hmm. School in Atlanta and one year we lost our accreditation and you know we were happy about that but honestly that wasn't a good thing because you can't get a diploma without accreditation. That's so true. Yeah, we that got it back, so but still, like, the, we were excited. And just being around that, mm -hmm. as far as certain students and certain mm -hmm. people, I got immune to that. I thought that was okay, and it mm -hmm. wasn't. Wow. It wasn't. Yeah. I don't want her to... I, I don't just, pick up those kind of habits. Please don't. My goodness, I feel you. Please so don't. financial education is mm -hmm. a crucial aspect of preparing children for the future. Can you provide insights into your approach to teaching financial literacy to your child? Um, I really want to start with credit mm -hmm. with her when it comes to that. I do. I think that's like the most important oh. thing right now. Uh, Really? <laughs> oh, they're telling me in my ear, y'all, that mm, I got a little makeup stain on my jacket. <laughs> Thank you, Shantae. Listen, I feel special. Can we do that every day? <laughs> Can I get a little music next time he comes out? Some Shantae music? Thank you. I'm so sorry for No, that. you're fine. You're okay, fine. go ahead. What were you saying? But really just credit, and I'll be honest with you, I was not always the best in math. Okay. But when my clients pay me, I can, I can count it. Very, very good. <laughs> you are I'm, I'm good when it comes to that, but yeah, credit. I, credit will be the main, the mo, the, you know. I mean, right, and it can yeah. follow you your whole life, whole entire life. It, it does follow you your entire life, so you have to handle it with mm -hmm. kick gloves. You do. My goodness. You do. So setting children up for the future also involves nurturing their passion and yes. talents, right? Mm -hmm. it Could does. you discuss how you've identified your child's interests and supported their growth in those areas? She loves coloring. She loves art, arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. um, she She's loves that. three. She loves painting. Right. Um, and I'm just learning she likes science. Really? Yeah. It's a show on Netflix, Emily's Wonder Lab. Yes. And she loves it. So I'm like, do I have a scientist on my hand? You never know. You just put it right in front of them. Yes. And they absorb so she much during it. these years, right? It. That's awesome. She loves it. I even throw some foreign language in there. Find a foreign language for her to she listen to. She can count to. in Spanish. Really? She can go a little further than me. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, she she'll can. be teaching you. <laughs> I love it. She so, uh, you have you have a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. What have you found to be the most interesting thing about her at this stage that you're trying to teach and nurture her? Ooh. So she's a little feisty. Really? She's Where does she get that from? Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> She get it from she, mommy. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. She's an Aries, so she comes a little hard. So it's a little difficult in a way. Mm -hmm. um, not as hard. She's very smart. Um, she picks up things very, very good. Um, she sees things that me and her dad show her. And we're first-time parents. She's a COVID baby. So wow. Yeah, it's a little difficult. But what yeah. does a COVID baby mean? Oh, Because y'all was locked up. They're, they're smart. <laughs> COVID, COVID babies are very, very smart. But we tell her every day, her dad does, you're smart, you're beautiful, you're loved, yes. you're kind. Aww. So we just instill that in her. And she's three, so it's still like, we're, we're just still working on it, trying to figure and out. And they don't come with instructions, no. so it's okay. I wish. It's okay. As I wish. long as they come home in one piece, wake yep. up, then we're good, right? <laughs> I wish she came with instructions. Stop it. So now you have your own successful business. Yes. Tell us about the business. So, Baby in business. Baby in business. So I have been a cosmetologist for over 10 years. Mm. Um, Oh, that's a long time. And oh. I, so I specialize in natural quick weaves. So quick weaves without glue touching your hair. Really? Yeah. Oh. Comes off like a wig, no glue, Stop anything. Stop it. That's what my clients love. <laughs> that's so how love. long does one hair have to be to get a quick weave? I mean, <laughs> you could do a little quick weave, no leave out or whatever. Really? I can't do no leave out, child. Yeah. The leave out would be mm -hmm. a little kinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all feel that? <laughs> okay, so what is it like having a partner in your field? Um, so yes, my boyfriend, he is a barber. Oh, so I'm nice. a cosmetologist, he's a barber. He's also a personal trainer. So yeah. He My goodness. Oh, look at y'all. Yes. Y'all better come <laughs> with it. He cuts his own hair. Does he really? He does. He does. So he be in the mirror like looking at the back and like doing all And I get sick of it. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. So yeah, we we build each other up. We it's good having someone you can relate to. Yes. When, like if I come home, oh this client today is like, oh, but he can relate because we're both in the same field. So when it comes to that, it's like 
we push each other. We know what it is as far as saving, as far as like, we don't get a paycheck every two weeks, every right. every month. We both have to make money from our clients. But right. We say, oh, we're about to make $500 a day, and then four people cancel. Bam, gone. That's it. Yeah. So we have to push I each other. You. We have to. That's so awesome. That's wonderful. I love it. I love so it. you have a lot of uh, celebrities using your products. I Tell us it. about how this happened. So. Look at this. Yes, that's a cook weave done by me. Listen, <laughs> so, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So um, I just started my line, Level 415. That's actually my daughter's birthday. Really? April, yeah, April 15th. So that's when it comes back to what we were saying as far as, you know, our kids growing up and having something to, you know, I want her to keep that going when I'm yes, here. You know? that's so beautiful. It's about specializing your hair under your weave. You yes. know, because the blue one is um, clarifying. It's like a tea tree. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh, I love you know, tea you tree. don't want your scalp all right. tingling and, and it itchy. Just, and correct. You don't want to have to keep patting your weave. No, I hate that move. Why do people Over do it. that? Over it. So, it. yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to have to deal with it. And when you take it out, you know, you have a lot of dandruff in your hair. So, yes. it does does good with that and then That's I have awesome. my shampoo that goes after that so a real hairstylist knows uh-huh the first shampoo is just to cleanse your hair mm -hmm. it doesn't soften your hair ah and a real hairstylist knows a real the one y'all second one that. Mm -hmm. softens your hair mm -hmm. and then you go with the conditioner mm. oh so hydrating so it's very hydrating yes I, I studied it. it for a while I started in 2018 and I left it alone yeah because you are going. a real hairstylist real hairstylist okay. yes <laughs> well, this is amazing. The packaging is awesome. We wish you the best Thank in everything you. that you do. We're going to take a short break. We'll okay. be right back. Don't y'all go nowhere. I'm here with Brianna.
welcome back to the Sassandra Show. I am still here with Brianna Smith, and it's time to dive in into No Filter. <laughs> TSS Tribe has sent in some questions related to today's show, and we are going to give it to y'all raw and no filtered. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready to just be raw and unfiltered? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So the first question, Brianna, it's from Emma. Emma says, how can I strike the right balance between my roles as a wife, mother, and entrepreneur without feeling overwhelmed? Well, Emma, Oof. me time. Mm. You have to have me time. You have to. I used to be so overwhelmed. My boyfriend told me, like, it's okay. Go out with your friends. Go have a night. Have a night to yourself. That's so awesome. It's okay to ask for help. It is ask okay. for help. It's you okay to, to need ask help, help, right? It's overwhelming. Nobody's going to think you're less of a superwoman nope. because you ask for help. Mm -hmm. Ask for help. It's okay to cry in the closet or in the car for a few minutes. I've done it. Yes. But... You gotta just put mama bear mode in. These kids didn't ask to be here, so. Wow. We That's have so to do true. what we have to do, but you have to take me time. It's very, very important to have me time. I have a lemon drop, you. have a whatever you need. You better Every come now on. and then, it's okay. Just yes. have some me time and you'll feel so much better. Lemon drop with a little effervescence. Yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Listen, I love it. That's great insight. So the next question is from Jazz. I love that name. I have a niece named Jazz. What strategies can help me manage my time effectively so I can be fully present for my family while also growing my business? Okay. Well, Oof. it's your business. So that means they're on your time. Mm. So... I choose when I have clients. I choose when I have time with my family, but I want more time with my family. But in order to be with my family, I have to still make money from my business. Mm -hmm. But it's a way you can do that. Just make time. Just I work Tuesday through Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm with ah. my family Saturday, Sunday, and Monday is my me time. Really? Yeah. But That's when you're awesome. an entrepreneur, you make your own schedule. So Monday is your day. Yep. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Friday are work. for your clients. Mm -hmm. You work hard. You get it in within four days. Yep. So you're pulling long shifts mm -hmm. within those four days. Not even long. Really? So I go in at 9:45. I'm out by three. Are you I'm serious? <laughs> work smarter, not harder. I'm all about that. <laughs> I am all about that. I love yep. that. So. For me, I would also say when you're trying to manage effectively, like I, oh my goodness, before all of this happened, when I say all of this happened, I mean divorce. Mm -hmm. I was married for 20 years. Wow. So I had three kids and trying to manage three children with a house and all the responsibilities. I learned that I had to get up earlier. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things you can do <laughs> is just say, I'm going to get up. Yeah. So if That's the kids true. get up at six, get up at five. Give yourself that time to get your morning started. Yes. Because when you start the morning at the same time the kids start the morning, it always ends up like it ain't about Chaos. you. It, there, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Chaos. All right, so the next question is from Mary. Mary says, how can I maintain a strong connection with my partner and keep the romance alive? <laughs> Talk to us about keeping the romance alive while you work in these hours, um, taking care of these wonderful children. Date night. Have date, a few night. date nights and act like you just met. How do you act like you just met someone? Talk to me. Change your name. Oh, <laughs> and change your hair. Change your name, change your hair. I, Felicia, I Mimi, love I don't it. know. Something. So tell me some of your names. I love it. Felicia, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just say I'm baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. So when you go out on your date night, what's a fun date night look like for you? Um, Fun for me. I'm not the typical eat dinner type date night. I like like bowling or just something yes. fun. Like I, I don't really care. Dinner is okay, but I'm just I don't like. We can you dinner at home. You love to be active. Yeah, I want to be active. I feel you. I want to be. Have active. you done any adventurous things on your dates? Um, adventurous things. Yes. Like, do y'all jump out of planes? Oh no. Do you like I'm go scared of heights. I think he is too. <laughs> Perfect couple. <laughs> I don't like I'm ice. not going up there. I'm not either, like honey. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next question. The next question is from, ooh, Ernest. Let's be honest with Ernest. Okay. Ernest. All right, Ernest says, my wife's business is growing tremendously, 
and I'm trying to figure out ways to constantly show her that I support her. Can you please give me some ideas? Okay, well, I'll just say a personal experience I've had. So, mm -hmm. me and my boyfriend are both into our businesses. Mm -hmm. And for his birthday, sometimes I just always get something that goes toward his business. You know, whatever her business is, if she's oh. a hairstylist, surprise her with a pair of flat irons or a new chair or a new oh. mat or just always or a new get salon. something. A new salon. Hello. With chairs and glass walls everywhere. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So get her things to support her business. That's it doesn't beautiful. have to, you know, just little things she like. If she's a hairstylist or a makeup artist, buy her a few different shades, some brushes, yes. stuff like that. Means I a love lot. that. That's great. Stuff That's like good that stuff. Me. That's good stuff. All right. So next question is from Lisa. Lisa says, hi. Hi, Lisa. I'm Lisa. And I often feel guilty about dividing my attention between my family and my work. How can I overcome this guilt and feel more confident in my choices? When I tell you, you can overcome that guilt every time your family Ooh. comes to you and needs something. I gotta go to work. <laughs> my God. Ooh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I gotta go to work. Oh. oh, I don't mind, but I gotta go to work. Talk to me, Brianna. That's kind of a hard one because it's just like, you have, like you said, I have to go to work. Like, somebody's always gonna need something. Always. Right. If you want it, let me go to work. Somebody's gotta do I it. I mean, if you're not working 24 seven, then hey. And that's the sacrifice. It's it like, is. you do wanna spend time mm -hmm. with your family. You do wanna hang out with the children. Yep. I wanna sit in the house and see what I'm paying for. Yes. I wanna look around. Exactly. But who really, yep. who really gets to sit <laughs> around? Come on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they have to understand work while you wait. Don't, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't get me started. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> so, took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. So, when you're up in the big leagues, <laughs> getting your turn, you still got to go to work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, wow, that's, a, that's interesting. It's all about family, but you do it for the fam. You do. Like you be doing you it do. for the gram, do we it do for it for the fam. Yep, exactly. All right, don't get me started. Exactly. It's Monday. <laughs> all right, so next question is from, ooh, do I say Bala, Baya, or Bala? Bala? I'll just say uh, Bala. Ah! I'm, a call. Bala. I'm gonna say Bala. The Bala shot caller wants to know, <laughs> what successful women in similar roles can I look up to for inspiration and guidance in balancing family and entrepreneurship? Ooh, mm. what successful women? So, I will say, I have a close friend named Shanice. Mm -hmm. Her Instagram is Lyrically Shay. Come she on. is a mom. Her daughter is five years older than mine. She has a um, aesthetic spa. Mm -hmm. She's opening salon suites. She's doing classes. Wow. And she's also planning a wedding on top of, um, what else is she doing? It's a lot. She's it's doing a lot. lot. She's, yeah, doing, she's a lot. doing a lot. She's a and superwoman. That's my friend, but I actually look up to her because she's doing so much at one time. Wow. She's traveling. She's builders are bringing the wrong materials like oh my god this now that like i really look up to her because she balances because what she does is she takes staycations she may take some days off take a vacation with her family like mm -hmm. her daughter knows that her mom is still present you want your kids to always know you're present it's so true you know? so, it's so true yeah and so i would say my goodness I, what you're saying to me too is to find someone that you admire mm -hmm. find someone in your circle that yep. you can look up to yep. That's doing things that's driving you mm -hmm. to push for that same level of yes. success, right? Yes. So I have a friend like that. Oh my goodness. Y'all know Lynette Y'all yeah. know Lynette. <laughs> Listen, she is always doing something. I don't know how she manages to get around to all the places she gets to. I don't know how she managed to show up looking great, mm -hmm. but I admire that in her because she can get there. She can make everyone feel seen. She speaks to everyone. She makes sure everybody, I mean, it's just yes. like, my God, yes. when we finish at the end of the night, I'm like, girl. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm really good out in the public, but at the same time, when you find friends, they say, I Iron sharpens iron. It does. So you keep that friend around that's that mm -hmm. iron. So I have an iron friend. They say iron man, I got an iron woman. Iron friend. <laughs> what y'all got? <laughs> Fellas, are guys like the same way? Let's ask the guys this. Are y'all the same way? You find someone in your circle that you admire that's strong, or y'all just got it locked down? No, everybody needs somebody they can yeah. look up to. You need three people. You need someone pulling you up. Mm. You need people at your same level and people you're helping pull up. 
I love but that. But at the same time, it could be you helping somebody who they look up to, but you always need a mentor or somebody you can look yes. up to like that. That's always. the key so. word, Chris. Mentor. Mm -hmm. Very oh, yeah. much yeah. so. Same, guys? Yeah, I agree. LaVon? Yeah, I agree with the same thing. Um, you got to have that support system from all levels. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then you find the gratification in helping others. Yes. Yeah. It's all about giving yeah. back, paying it forward, however you want to say it. Oh, sure. It's about, you. right? Because some people you look up to, it may not be real. You don't know if that's real life. It's on Instagram and it's on TV. So oh. Just leaning towards who's in my circle. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Yes. So do you have someone that's leaning into you, Brianna? Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, sure you inspire a lot of people. But you people. know how people are nowadays. They're not going to tell you. <laughs> They're not going to tell you. <laughs> so you saying They're not gonna they tell enjoy you. what you share with them, yes. but they ain't going to tell you? Nope. Sometimes I get girls who tell me I inspire them, but like sometimes it's people close to you. They may not tell you if you inspire them because they just don't want you to know that. You know? That's just how it's the world we live in. So tell me who's in your circle that you're connected to is like your go-to. Like she, he or she is your ride or die. We know you and your boyfriend are like H. Boom <laughs> Coon pals. It's like you don't get no better than that. But tell me really quickly, who do you um, go to? You're going to make my, some friends jealous now. I have my three friends I go to. Uh, my friend Shanice, I just told you uh -huh. about. I have a friend named Treshana. We talk business. And a friend named Esther, who I work with. And we all are in the beauty industry. So I love having friends in the beauty industry. I love being able to talk on the phone and just talk about beauty or business. And it's like, uh, I get a rush. Doing yes, I, I can it. tell. I, I can tell. It. Well, it's been such a pleasure sitting here speaking with you. you. We wish you Godspeed, everything that you do. Thank you. To our viewers, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Until tomorrow, we'll see y'all back at night. You ready, see it. more great entertainment for you right here again only on afro tv